I'm kind of in a dilemma. I am torn and I just want to make sure that I'm not settling because I feel like I don't want to settle nor do I want to be too superficial. So check this out. I um, I recently met a girl and she is, she's cool. Like long story short, she hit me up randomly. She's somebody that I kicked it with in the past, but it was nothing like this, you know? And she hit me up randomly and we went out on a Saturday night. We had an amazing time. She ended up coming back to the crib and you guys know. So I, I thought that was it, you know? I thought it was just a one night stand. We, you know, we if she wants some more, she just hit me up on the nights where she wants some more. You know, I didn't believe that it would blossom into anything serious. But she has just been like applying pressure. And as a person dealing with codependent issues and abandonment issues, it's really like pulling at my heartstrings because I um I don't know. You know how the dating pool is. You can barely get a response sometimes from these women, especially women that I'm attracted to. So um, it's just been really odd. So it's refreshing to have somebody that's attentive, somebody that's sweet, somebody that's considerate, somebody that reaches out first, somebody that just double doesn't care about double texting. You know, if I don't respond for a while, I'm still getting, you know, she hasn't lost interest even due to my indifference. So that's rare these days, you know, and it really um, is making me wonder if I am skipping out on a chance because I'm a hopeless romantic. So I do want to be in love. I do want to meet the one. I do want to get to know each other and just truly engage in an actual relationship. But I am just not attracted to this woman. And I know you guys are like, okay, if you're leave not her attracted alone. To, I beg your pardon. I leave her alone. If you're not, if you're not attracted to her, um, there's only so much. You got to have some sort of baseline attraction for her for you to for a for it for it to even work. I it's, smashed. So wouldn't you say that that's baseline attraction? Because us men will smash a lot of things. We'll never show out in daylight. And we don't. I would never be in public with her. I would never proudly be in public. With I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna put it like this. I'm gonna put it like this. And Mel, this ain't to put you on the spot. This ain't to put you on the spot. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, not to gas you up, but obviously you're you're a nice looking woman, right? I can almost, if I had to put my money on it, you probably. I'm not gonna get into your sexual history, but you can. I can put my money that you've never had sex with someone that you did not find attractive. Why? Because you got that option. Men, mm. we oftentimes don't have that same option. So sometimes we get it. You know, women get sex when they want to. We get it when we can. And sometimes that mm. can is mid as hell. And unfortunately, mm. a lot of mid as women have a lot of qualities that would honestly make them good girlfriends. But as physical as us guys are, I would argue that you probably need at least like a six level of attraction, six or seven level of attraction to be able to go further with her. Because if every day you waking up to her and you making the I smell shit face, it's just not going to work. No matter how bro. Good, no matter how good she scramble eggs, it's just not gonna work. Bro, and I, I truly appreciate that, my brother, because I just didn't want to miss out on a good opportunity to actually be loved, you know. But you know, and attraction can shift, you know what I mean? Like as we get older, things change, you know what I mean? But I do believe that there should be that. I, I don't even I don't want to do it again, guys. And she she been blowing my line. So I feel like you might be right. And she has two kids. She has two kids, guys. But well, I should tell you and something. And I'm not a kid guy. You do you have any children? I have none. Well. <laughs> that that could definitely play a part into why she's also blowing your line up. She's in she's in um, I need a stepdaddy mode. You can't really be as you can't really be in there. You thought I was feeling you as attitude when you actually legitimately no bullshit need a man and not just treat him as expendable. Okay, I think the okay. best thing you can do to. is just say, you know, it was a good time, but separate ways. Don't necessarily waste her time because that's unfair to her, but indeed, let her, let, let her find somebody else because I don't think you really want her and that's not good for both of either one of you. Thank you for that. I really appreciate hearing that from a gentleman's mind. What, what do, do you think, Melly? Melly? Well, I don't agree all the way because hmm. I, I'm have, listening. I have dated guys, uh, baby goats. I have dated guys that I felt like 
when I met them, I didn't like them, but they were super funny. They have an awesome personality. And I grew into being attracted to them. Mm -hmm. So, and just like what they were providing was enough for me to, to fuck with them on that level. And the only problem happened when we had an issue, I would kind of look at them like in a certain way, you know, because I was like, damn, I'm kind of, I'm, I'm being, I, I was being mean, I think, because I was thinking I'm lowering my standard in a way. Mm. And you, you're not doing what I want, you know, and we're still having those issues. So it's just hard when uh, an argument comes along to be able to be like, well, but you know, he's fine. Like, you know, I don't care. Okay. I, I can get past that. So see, I, I would did, argue, but I did have some good relationship with people I wasn't attracted to in the first place. And I feel like mm. with this society, it's a lot of, we we're, we're so um, caught up with like the looks, but what you described in her, I really like. So unless she's ugly and you can like look at her and, and you want to throw up when you look at her, that's one thing. But I feel like you can maybe find some type of attraction just based on her personality. See, the reason, I, the reason I would push back against that is because I, being a guy, I know just how physical we are. You know what I mean? There's plenty of Biggie Smalls that end up with women that are way out of his leagues on a look scale. But nobody's really knocking down uh, Oprah Winfrey's door like that or Whoopi Goldberg's door like that. That's bars. Like, That's bars. Guys, have That's I, bars. guys, since we've been young, we've been taught to have game to compensate from where we lack it. But it, it doesn't really work. To, uh, women can, You can actually compensate on a lot of things for women, whether that be finances, whether that be your mouthpiece, you know, whatever the case may be. It's extremely hard to compensate with a guy because we some, we some horn dogs. Like, we like beautiful women. You, you know, now, you know. let me ask you this, bro. Let me ask you this, bro, because you're absolutely right. Especially me as an Aries. I like to look at my girl in, in adoration. So, but is it worth risking never finding somebody that I find attractive, that I vibe with, that we on the same, we equally yoked, mm -hmm. never finding that? Or maybe lowering my physical standards a little bit or cheating. Do you guys recommend cheating? No, the yeah. logical. <laughs> the logic, that was a joke, guys. But the problem is the logical answer would be to lower your standards, right? Obviously, that'd be the logical answer. But the Indeed. practical answer is it's probably just going to end in failure. If 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 I'm being honest, you know what I mean. Indeed. And because who needs any more? I don't need to waste her time. I don't need to waste my time. Who needs another heartbreak under their belt? So why not nip in the bud when I already know? Huh? I would agree. But I know, Mel. I appreciate okay. you guys. I appreciate you guys.